Utilities are in place and houses are being turned over to their new owners at the National Housing Painters Development. Homeowner Candia Lee Williams has had her keys since Monday. She says she'll do a final cleaning, then move in with her family. Anyone who has interest in getting the home, they should run. It is a great, it's a great deal. Everything is there, electricity is there, water is there. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. It is great. It's worth it. I love my home. Housing Minister the Honorable Maria Brown takes pride that the homes have been built by 100% local manpower. We have about 300 workers on field and they work every day, Monday to Friday, on these homes and at our other project at Denfields and on Bill on Your Own Land. And they have been able to produce such lovely edifices. The homes are all fitted with underground facilities for electricity, water and internet, a central sewage system, cisterns and water heaters. Landscaping work is now being completed. The development is divided into two phases, and phase one is being allocated in two parts. Homeowners who receive their keys are from the first part of phase one. The minister says homes in phase one part two should be readied for handover shortly. In the meantime, phase two is expected to be completed later this year or early 2020. All the homes here have already been allocated as well. We have already piled uh, the necessary areas. The roads are yet to be done. However, the utilities have already been prepped for in terms of the water and the electricity. The minister thanks the homeowners for their patience and says efforts are being made to improve the time it takes to hand over keys after approval. I am Jamie J. Roche reporting for ABS News.